Out of the three to 400 dog breeds out there, there aren't many that I'd recommend to people living in apartments or flats, but there are a few who I think fit the bill nicely. And here are my top three that I'm gonna break down for you now. But first, what is it that I'm looking for in an apartment dog? For me, it comes down to a couple of key things. First, they need to be pretty low energy because they're probably not going to get the easiest access to green space to run around in. And space might be quite limited in an apartment compared to a big house. And speaking of space, my second factor is size. It shouldn't be too massive. I love giant breeds, as you probably know, but I don't think a huge livestock guardian breed is going to be happily confined in your flat or navigating the narrow stairwells when they don't fit in the lift. And finally, my third thing is noise. A quieter dog is going to keep your neighbors happy. And as you might be sharing walls or floors with four sets of neighbors at one time in an apartment complex, this one is really important. So let's have a look at my three best breeds for apartment living. In at number three, it's my favorite small breed, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Apart from being one of the most loving, sweet-natured dog breeds in general, these gentle, pocket-sized, unassuming little spaniels are perfect for apartments. As a toy breed, they're not going to exceed about a foot tall or 20 pounds in weight, meaning they can fit even the tiniest of homes and can be carried up floors with ease if you need. With what little weight they have, they're also not known for throwing their weight around. Yes, they can be playful, but they're famed for being one of the most adaptable breeds on the planet. In essence, they will match their owner's energy levels and slot into the space and lifestyle they're given. And to top it all off, they're not big barkers at all. These toy dogs might have been bred to warm the laps of fancy ladies, but they're far from spoiled to needy. Now, my number two breed on this list of great apartment dogs is actually going to be two breeds, and that's the English Bulldog and the French Bulldog. These dogs might both have descended from blood sport champions, but that past is centuries behind them, and they are now two of the quietest, laziest, most universally adored breeds in the world. The Frenchie isn't going to exceed 30 pounds and his English pal 50 odd pounds, meaning they're a very manageable size. And while they're both quite chatty, neither of them are huge barkers, so we will be heard from much further away than the next room. There's a reason Frenchies have just taken the number one spot in popularity in the US, just like they did in 2019 here in the UK. And why both breeds are rarely out of the top 10 in both countries, with the biggest numbers being in cities, they're both just excellent, easygoing dogs. So they're tied in second place. Now, before I reveal my breed in the number one spot, I want to quickly mention my completely three principles of the perfect puppy course. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're interested in trying to decide what breed is going to best suit you and your lifestyle. And that is incredibly important, but no breed is perfect without perfect training and you need to master obedience, manners and socialization. As a canine behaviorist, my job is fixing problems when they go wrong, but it's so much easier if you just simply get it right first time round, which is why I created my completely free course. There'll be a link to it in the description box below. You can go join up, no strings attached right now and make sure that you're getting it perfect from day one. Now, my breed in the gold medal spot is going to sound a little bit mad at first, but bear with me because I'll explain why I think they're so perfect. And that breed is the Greyhound. Okay, so they're on the larger side of this list at nearly 30 inches or 70 pounds at the top end, and they're world renowned as the fastest running breed at up to 45 miles an hour. So apart from them hardly barking, what possessed me to include them on this list? I hear you, but the thing is, apart from all of those big numbers, they're a well-established nickname for these dogs in the Greyhound world, and that is a 40 mile an hour couch potato. And that's what's amazing about them. If they've had a chance to just stretch their legs, they'll sleep and snooze more than almost any other dog breed in the planet and have a world-renowned off switch. Indoors, like an innate understanding that outdoors equals running and indoors equals chilling and napping. Yes, they're bullets around a grassy field, but are delicate, slow movers around your apartment, meaning their size almost disappears. And aside from their absolute love of doing next to nothing, they're among the most gentle, good-natured dogs in the whole world, meaning you'll have have the ultimate loving companion even if you live alone and to top it all off retired racing greyhounds are available for rehoming in their hundreds up and down every country around the world 